people who want to attain financial stability should focus on establishing certain assets early in life. Yup, you heard that right. If you're going to enjoy a comfortable life, you have to invest much early. That's around ages 20 to 30. Because that is when you're fully equipped to work hard and save. Here are the top 10 assets you can invest in your 20s and 30s. Number 1. Index Funds One of the best investments you can make before age 40 is stocks. Despite the potential that it's very high risk, they offer some of the most significant rewards. You have plenty of time to make and learn from mistakes when you begin your financial path, but you should always make wise considered decisions. Based on the S&P 500 index as the benchmark, stocks have an average return rate of 10%. In actuality, hardly many investments will offer a return rate this high. Bonds may be a good addition when you assemble an index fund strategy. After all, bonds are the safest investment, even if they offer the lowest return rate. It would be best if you guaranteed your portfolio comprises roughly of 10-20% to of weighted bonds. Your investment is more secure as a result. You might also include the percentage and change it following your risk tolerance. Index funds or cryptocurrencies were just introduced. They appear promising even if they have not yet undergone thorough testing. The present return rates are very high, between 10 and 15%. However, the danger rises as the return rate does. The fact that index funds charge less in fees is a huge benefit. There are more returns, and the smaller the fees. Beyond diversification, index funds also offer the use of many having minimal fees. Investment costs should be avoided as much as possible because they will soon lower your returns. Be cautious to consider the tax ramifications as you purchase the index funds, of course. Number 2. Real Estate With real estate, you rarely make a mistake. One of the best investments is real estate for a variety of reasons. First, there is typically a housing shortage, and real estate assets nearly always increase in value. Owning a home is the first step in real estate investing. Your costs such as rent go down when you own a home. After winning your own home, you can consider developing other commercial properties. These could be apartment buildings, townhomes, commercial buildings, and other real estate. There are other choices too. If you cannot invest directly in the real estate market, there are several crowdfunding websites where you can put as little as $500 into an investment. The money would subsequently be invested in real estate holdings along with the other contributors of other investors. REITs are the name for these assets, also known as real estate investment trusts. Number 3. Education According to statistics, studying is most effective in your 20s. According to your studies, your 20s and early 30s are the best years for learning new things. Consequently, this might be the ideal moment to earn that additional degree. Education is crucial because it may position you for success in the workplace. You must realize that not all teaching and learning are advantages though. Be cautious as you go because some learning can be classified as a hobby and is probably not monetizable. Start by looking for successful employment in your preferred fields if you wish to invest in your schooling. Additionally, it might be the ideal time to raise your level of financial literacy. Number 4. Startup Business while you're still young, invest in a startup company. Why? The benefits of owning a business are endless. You'll be able to make as much money as you can with an infinite ROI. A startup firm is another investment you ought to compete in your 20s. The potential for massive ROI is astounding. Even if it's not the next Amazon, investing in a young company can always have excellent results. You don't always have to launch your own company. You can invest in others' companies in exchange for stock in such companies. For instance, being an angel investor is a fantastic alternative if you know the entrepreneur. Your investment may take the form of a convertible note, which implies that if a particular condition is satisfied, it may become a loan. The alternative is via crowdfunding. Numerous crowdfunding platforms include notable firms with great potential. Make sure to research extensively about the founder and comprehend the business's background before investing. Choose companies with compelling narratives and owners with some business-related skills, experience, or education. The alternative involves collaborating with a venture capital fund. You can start by becoming an accredited investor and work up to venture capital. These funds, however, have a strict requirement and minimum investment requirement. Number 5. Treasury Bills For every investor, regardless of age, treasury bills are an essential investment. There is no better time than when you are young to invest regularly in T-bills. Short-term government guaranteed debt instruments called treasury bills are used to fund spending and manage the money supply. Three tenors, 90 days. 182 days and 364 days are available for T-bills. Everyone has expenses to cover, whether it's tuition, rent, or even professional tests. 
The cash you have on hand can be conveniently invested in treasury bills and cashed out when the bills are due. This is an example of the financial concept known as asset and liability matching, which entails buying an asset to help pay for future liability. Treasury notes are entirely risk-free, so unlike other investment options, your earnings are assured. Why not invest in them because they have reasonable returns as well? Number 6. Growth Stocks and Dividend Stocks We've made it quite apparent that taking risk in your 20s and 30s is advantageous because you still have time to recover if you lose your money at this point. So buying stocks is a great way to invest some of your money in high-risk, high-reward business. Growth stocks are securities with projected annual growth rates substantially higher than the industry average. These stocks produce more stable positive cash flows and revenues than their peers. Contrarily, dividend stocks are often those of mature, financially sound businesses. Thus, their share prices are less erratic than those of growth stocks. You should start including dividend equities in your portfolio as soon as possible if the businesses continue to perform effectively. They also offer chances to make stable income over an extended period. Number 7. Exchange Traded Funds Let's now look closely at ETFs which are remarkably comparable to the index funds we previously mentioned. ETFs resemble index funds since they are collections of securities that include a variety of assets including stocks, bonds, and precious metals. They trade similarly to stocks, allowing shareholders to purchase and sell shares on the market. Because of their adaptability, they're valuable tools for investing in broad market indices like the S&P 500, in industries like technology, health, or even in sub-industries like social media or robotics. The Schwab U.S. Large Cap ETF Global X Robotics and Artificial Intelligence ETF and iShares Global Clean Energy ETF are a few instances of ETFs. Number 8. Commodities a Commodity is a term used in economics to describe an economic good, typically a resource that is wholly or substantially fungible, meaning that the market treats instances of the good as identical or nearly equivalent regardless of who generated them. You can invest in this in a variety of ways. The first is to invest in various quantities of physical raw materials like bullion made of precious metals. Additionally, investors can earn investments via futures contracts, exchange-traded products or ETPs that are closely tracked a particular commodity index. These are hazardous and complicated investments that are often only suitable for experienced investors. Mutual funds that invest in their companies in the commodity industry are another option to expose oneself to commodities. For instance, an oil and gas fund might hold equities from businesses engaged in energy exploration, refining, distribution, and storage. Commodity investing has benefits such as portfolio diversification, possible returns, and a hedged inflation. Commodities have also performed the best during periods of inflation, making them one of the most acceptable assets in this time. Number 9. Annuities in a contract known as an annuity, you and an insurance provider agree that the latter will give you regular payments either now or in the future. A single amount or a series of expenses known as premiums is used to purchase an annuity. Retirement savings opportunities are offered by some annuity contracts. The investments could be used by others to generate a retirement income stream. Others still practice both. You have a deferred annuity if you use an annuity as a savings vehicle and the insurance company postpones your payout. On the other hand, your payments begin immediately if you use the annuity to provide a source of retirement income. You already have an annuity. Fixed and variable annuities are the two most popular types. A hybrid product called an indexed annuity is also available, sometimes known as an equity indexed annuity or a fixed index annuity. Annuities are essential since they are frequently items that investors consider when preparing for retirement. Additionally, they are commonly promoted as tax deferred savings products. However, annuities come with various fees and expenses, such as surrender charges, mortality, expense risk charges, and administrative costs. Additionally, commissions on annuities can be very costly up to 7%. Number 10. Cryptocurrencies and Initial Coin Offerings or ICOs Only recently have traditional prominent street investors have begun to show interest in crypto and ICOs. With over a thousand different cryptocurrencies currently accessible and billions of dollars invested in ICO financings, these quickly evolving marketplaces are alluring for investors. Most ordinary investors find it challenging to understand these complicated investment products and assess their risk levels. We do, however, know that they have extraordinarily high returns. The potential rewards are between 12% and 200%. ICOs have sometimes done incredibly well. For instance, the OTA had a 13,000 times return on investment. You would have made $13,000 if you had invested a dollar when asked to do so. And there you have it folks. We hope you learned a lot while watching today's video. Please like, share, and subscribe for more upcoming videos. Goodbye for now.